to public speaking at all. But the reason why I'm here is because I'm an Irish Catholic who has lived in Northern Ireland for a majority of my life and very much like Rosie. Everything she said, she took words right out of my mouth. This Saturday last week, I watched Liverpool laugh EDL off the streets. Oh. They them off the streets because they hold the same, they laugh them off the streets, the same reason we're going to laugh the DUP out of Westminster. Yeah. Yeah. Laugh the DUP out of Westminster. It isn't enough just to oppose them to your government. We need to absolutely make sure they don't set foot in Westminster ever again. Kelly made a really good point. She came out here and she said, we owe the Northern Irish people an apology. Because we've neglected them. We have dealt with this for years. Unfortunately, they hold the majority of the seats in Northern Ireland. Because of it, yeah. they absolutely terminate any inch of progress that your society wants to make. Mm -hmm. Britain, you need to speak so loud about this. You need to really oppose this. You have no idea of the repercussions. These things are racist, homophobic, sectarian bigots. And one thing that no one has mentioned is their strong links to terrorism. Ian Paisley formed the DUP back in 71. He formed it because UUP simply didn't hate Catholics enough for him. That was the reason it was formed. There is no funding goes into the Irish Language Act. They are against everything the Catholic people are for. We really need to speak loudly this and we need to be in solidarity with the Catholic community in Northern Ireland and help them out for once. I think. <laughs> hit the nail on the head there because when I woke up on Friday and Saturday morning actually I didn't want to get out of bed I just wanted to stay there and pretend that it wasn't happening but that's exactly what people like the DUP want from all of us they don't want us out on the street tonight they don't want us talking about this they don't, they don't want us protesting them they want us to just lay down and take it but we're not going to mm. and we never have in Liverpool have we? No, no. no we haven't and it's, that's because it's not on and whenever we see something that's not on as Scousers, we call it. Mm -hmm. So, Scouse Pride, everyone. <laughs> Scouse Pride. So, thank you so much, everybody, for coming out today. Um, you've been absolutely amazing. Thanks for bearing with us when we had some technical difficulties as well. I'm going to invite a lady called Lorraine Carter up to speak to us as well. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen an article bouncing around the Echo. Widow Woman writes petition. Blah blah blah. Here she is. That's the Widow Woman. Yeah, please. <laughs> Never done anything like this before. Woke up on Friday morning and seeing what has happened was not standing for it. Um, one woman alone thought, do you know what? When there's many of us, one voice can be silenced. Many is is a movement. Um, children running around my feet because I am a mum and I have children <laughs> and I sat there and set up this petition and the petition is I say no to Theresa May and her Conservative government with the DUP for everything I do not believe in I don't believe in <laughs> who is to tell me what I can do with my body that is my choice. Who is to tell me what sexuality I am or who I want to be with? That's my choice. And that's the choice I want to protect, not just for me, but for everybody. We pride ourselves in Britain to try and include people in inclusion and having, you know, the, the choice to, to do things. Um, so, as I said, I've set up this petition against this coalition or formation in government because whatever way you want to put it whether it's just supply and demand or whatever she calls it or whether it be a coalition it's a blooming same thing you didn't yeah. win the race getting the piggyback off your mate doesn't cross you or <laughs> get you across the line <laughs> so, if to support me on, on, on my petition the hashtag is for the voice of the many and not the few Okay, and it's set up on change.org as well. So please, everybody, get there, sign it, share it. I want to get this to a million if possible, and I will hand deliver this to number 10 Downing Street. If the red hand says, listen, this is the voice.
voice of many and not the voice of the few. Keep back out from the rain, everyone. I've only just met Maroon today and we were over in, were we in Pret? We were just outside Pret. And um, she said, oh, I'm, I'm just a mum, I've not done anything like this before. Well, isn't that fucking powerful? <laughs> normal people and everyday people you're sitting there thinking I'm just me I'm just living my life that's all I'm doing look at you all today you're all out here there's about I'm gonna say 300 I'm fudging the numbers I don't know <laughs> that's the power of, of people it's the power of a people centred campaign and that's the power of real change that's how we're gonna get Jeremy Corbyn into 10 Downing Street by whatever means possible not in that way sorry <laughs> Um, thank you everybody for coming today. Can I all give yourselves a round of applause? And the kick is very, we need to be out on the streets, we need to be having those arguments with co workers, we need to be having them Facebook spats, whatever. We need to be resisting this, and that's why we're here today. So we've got an amazing local duo called Limerence, they're right behind me, and um, they, they're going to play us out today. So thank you everyone for coming. Good Hello.